Let's have a look at a particular type of percentage question which involves actually working at an answer which is a percentage answer. So for example, you might have uh, in this example £25 and you are spending £7 out of the £25. So you know the two amounts of money, the £25 you start with, the £7 that you, you're spending. And what the question is asking, what percentage of the money that you started with have you actually spent? I'm going to do it in two ways. I'm going to do it as if it was a paper one question, in which case no calculator, and then I'll show you a very quick way you can do it on a calculator, which is really useful for paper two, because for paper two some of the figures get really awkward, and you do need to know a specific way on a calculator of dealing with it. Okay, so first of all, I'll do it no calculator method. You spend seven pounds out of 25. Okay, so what I would suggest you do, whenever you are looking to get a percentage answer, first of all, create a fraction as your first step, an ordinary fraction. So the fraction that is spent will simply be £7 out of the 25. And if I was marking a test and somebody scored 7 out of 25, what would I write on the test script? I'd write 7 over 25. And that's exactly what I write here. £7 has been spent out of £25 they started with. So we've got a fraction of 7 25ths that's been spent. OK, if I'm doing this now, trying to get the percentage that's been spent without a calculator, make use of the fact that percentages are really just fractions where the bottom line is 100. So all I'm going to do is change that 25 into 100. And I can do this very easily. And you'll always find on paper 1 that this can be done very easily. Because, remember, when you're changing a fraction into another fraction which is the same as it, but which looks different, you're allowed to do two things. You can either divide the top and bottom by the same number, or you can multiply the top and number by the same number. They're the two things you're allowed to do. So in this particular case, what I'm going to do is times the 25 by 4 to get 100. So I'm therefore going to times the 7 by 4, and if you know your tables, 7 4 is a 28. So the fraction spent is 7 25ths, 7 out of 25 pounds spent, which is the same thing as spending 20 out of 100. 28 out of 100 is the same as 7 25ths. They look different, but they mean the same thing. Once it's over 100, you can immediately say that the percentage that is spent is 28%. And that's it, it's as simple as that. OK, that's doing it without a calculator. If you want to, you can do this with a calculator. So, if you're using a calculator, you should be able to go straight to the answer. Because percentage spent, well, first of all, you do the same sort of thing. You create the fraction that is spent. The fraction that is spent is £7 out of 25. OK? That's the first step. In fact, I think, just to show that the basic technique is the same as this to begin with, I'll write fraction spent equals 7 25ths. OK, now, 7 25ths is a fraction. You know yourself, or I hope you know already, that fractions, decimals and percentages are three ways of expressing the same quantity. So, for example, a half is the same as 0.5 is the same as 50%. They're the same thing. So all I'm going to do is change that to the percentage, which is the same as it. On a calculator, this can be done very easily. All you're going to do is take the top number and share it by the bottom number. 7 share by 25. That's what that means, share 7 share by 25. If you do that on a calculator, you will end up with the decimal equivalent, which will be 0.28. So when you're doing like a half, if you do 1 share by 2, you'd get the answer 0.5. That's what the calculator would give you. The half is the same as 0.5. A half is one whole share into two portions. So 7 share by 25. 7 share by 25 gives you 0.28. Now that's the decimal. Either by looking at the decimal and just spotting the pattern that's going on there, or by formally learning the method that we talked about way back in year 10, that you just have to multiply it by 100 to turn it into a percentage, Either way, it doesn't really matter, you end up with the figure 28%. 0.28 is 28%. Okay, so there's the calculator method. 
and there's the method without a calculator. And you need to be familiar with both. Okay, this sort of thing comes up all the time in paper one. This sort of thing is needed for paper two when you can use a calculator. I'm going to do question two. Question two, I'm just going to do it by the first method. And then question three, I'll give you some really awkward figures and we'll just do it by the calculator method. So very quickly then, question two. Okay. Let's say you spend, now let's make it this one a bit harder, £28 out of £40. And I want to know what percentage is this. So what percentage have you spent? Okay, let's write down the fraction spent. Fraction spent will be the £28 out of the £40. Fine. What I've got to do is now convert that 40 on the bottom line into 100. Now, if I was doing it in one step, it is possible to do it, but it's not very nice, because if you times it by 2, you get 80. Times it by 3, times the 40 by 3, you'd get 120, which is too big. Some of you might realise that to turn 40 into 100, you have to times by 2.5 and then you'd have to times the 28 by 2.5 as well. But it's not very nice to do that. Times it by 2.5 is not nice. So how could we do it? Well, this is not a nice straightforward one like the previous question where I just did it in one step. What I'm going to do is do it in two steps. For a number like 40, if I wanted to turn it into 100, why don't I do the following? Why don't I share the top and the bottom by 4? In other words, turn the 40, first of all, into 10. Share it by 4. Turn it into 10 first. So I share the top by 4. If you time, uh, share the top by 4, you get 7. 7 falls to 28. Now you've got it as 7 over 10, then all I've got to do is times that 10 by 10 to get 100. So now I times the top by 10, I get 70. So I share it by 4 to get 10, and then I times it by 10 to get 100. So you share the top by 4 to get 7, and times it by 10 to get 70. So it's 70 over 100, so there you go, you get your answer 70%. I've done it without a calculator, but I have done it in stages this time, in two steps. And I would suggest that is a technique you need to be familiar with. Okay, so if I had something like... Um, Something over 30, something over 60, something over 70, something over 80, something over 90, something over 40, any of these, okay, then I would do it in two steps. I would, in this case, share by 3 to get 10, and then times it by 10. In this case, I'd share by 6 first to get 10 on the bottom, and then times by 10 to get 100. I'd share by 7 to get 10, times by 10 to get 100. I'd share by 8, I'd share by 9 to begin with, I'd share by 4 to, get, to begin with. So that little technique for these types of fractions with 30, 60, 70, 90, 80, 40 on the bottom line are ones I think you should really learn to do in the two-step process. Okay, that's an example, an awkward example for paper one, no calculator. Let's do an, a, a really awkward example, number three, for one now which is found on paper 2, which is the calculator paper. So, last example then. Let's say you um, spend, let's keep to money, Doesn't this could be applicable to anything though, where you've got two quantities compared to each other, it doesn't have to be money. You spend, let's say you spend £146.12 out of £238.50. So you can see the figures are really awkward figures, and I want to know what percentage have you spent. Okay, so here we go. Fraction spent will be equal to, it's £146.12 out of the £238.50. That is the fraction you've spent. Okay? Now, obviously, 
That there is really awkward. You would not even begin to think of doing that without a calculator. It's really, really nasty. Okay, but what I can do is now convert that fraction into the equivalent decimal simply by doing the top number divided by the bottom number. Okay, now that there is not a nice calculation. So I'm going to work that out on a calculator. Um, which I should have somewhere around here. There we go, got our calculator. So we've got 146 12, 146 pound 12 divided by 238 pound 50, and we get this decimal 0.61266247. So that decimal is equivalent to that. Okay, well, you should know that to convert the decimal to a percentage, you can either just look at the pattern, or you can simply times by 100 if you're not sure. Times by 100, which means you move the point two places. You're going to get 61, there you go, 0 0.61 is the 61%. And then you put the point. So you're going to get 61.266 which of course is approximately 61, I would give it to one decimal, 0.26, so 0.3%. You've spent 61.3% of the money. Okay, and that is a very basic uh, method that you should learn off by heart and be familiar with on your calculator. It works really well, really easy when you've got really awkward figures. Take the top number, share it by the bottom number, 146.12, share by 238.50, you get the decimal, and then either spot the pattern, 61, 61, 61%, or times it by 100, you get a percentage, 61.3%. There you go, that's the end of this video.